shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless, a young loner on a crusade to champion the cause, in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motoblogs. What's up YouTube? This is your boy out on the gold wing. Out on the gold wing. And today, riding with the one and only Wavy. What's up, Wavy? What's going on, Chris? Man, the blue F6B. Yes, sir. And yeah. going to the beautiful weather on the off day. Pull up on the side of me there, Wavy. Man, the blue F6B. That, that, that F6B look good, man. And appreciate it. Look, look real good. Look real good. You know, that candy red looking good over there. That's how I saw you. Going opposite directions. I ain't see nothing but candy in my eyes. I can't even see anymore. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. I thought that was you. I saw that blue F6B. I was like, now, nah, it's only one person that I know that has a blue F6B, and that's Wavy. Well, they wasn't even thinking when I saw you. I already knew who it was. Yeah. Thank you. I saw you. the trailer, and I saw the cover on the front of the bike and the front of the trailer. I knew who it was. Man, it's a good day. I'm showing 70 degrees out, Wavy. Oh, yeah. Perfect yeah. weather. Yeah, I'm showing 70 degrees out, man. Perfect weather. Perfect weather. I say it's too nice of a day to be sitting around the house. Uh, watching YouTube. Yes, I said kids at school, wife at work. I was like, you know, why not? You know, just get out. Oh, okay. Off day. Yeah. How's old How's old Teal doing, man? Man, he's doing good. He's kind of hating. He had to go to work. That's what we were talking about. Uh, when we split up back on 385, he got to go to work. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think he off on weekends now. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I need to get I need to get with my man Ricky Mad Dog. See what Ricky up to on that white gold wing. Oh yeah, I thought that was. Yeah. Yeah, I just decided to get the bike out a little bit wavy. I said, man, I'm on my off day. It's a good day to be out here riding. You know, scandalous bike broke down on the mother day, but he got it up. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. He got his bike up. It uh. It went down on him. He had some electrical issues. I'm not sure what was going on with it, if it was his alternator or if it was his battery, but uh, he got it up. And uh, yeah, we had to cut the ride short because his bike went down, but uh, it's all good now. Yeah, as long as he's back out on it, it's yeah. all that matters. Yeah, I talked to him today. He, he was at home. Man, yeah. he got lights everywhere on that trailer. Yeah. You can see it in the daytime, huh? I can see it. If somebody hit you, they'd be lying. So. <laughs> I didn't they say see. They, they say they didn't see you. They lying. They lying. Yes. And I, I'm everywhere. And I, I may add just a few more running lights uh, on the trailer. A couple more turn signals. Probably, you know, four or five more uh, LEDs on it. Oh yeah, huh? LEDs everywhere. Uh huh. And, that, and, you know, that's how I try to do it, man. I, I try to be seen because I'm not trying to be a statistic. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that's why, you know, that's why I changed my headlights and stuff. Right? I wanted the brightest thing possible. Yeah. See at night. Yeah. That's like Steven's bike, man. Steven got those lights so bright on his bike, it's hard to ride. It's hard for him to ride behind you because he'll blind you. Yeah, catch in the mirror. Man. I mean, his, his lights are bright in the daytime. But you got to have to stay safe. Yeah. Because it's right lane. You know, Wavy, when they uh, finish this, it's going to run all the way to 55. Oh, really? Yeah. That's where it's going. So when you're coming out of Mississippi, yeah. you know, heading back north, you don't have to go all the way back through Memphis. You can just cut. So once they get this finished, it's going to run all the way to 55 south. When they fit, I'm going to get out and ride it just, man. You know, just, just, just to see what yeah. it's like. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, because I I've, I've came out of Mississippi many a days and, and just wanted to avoid the, uh, the traffic and catch this 269. It's, it's a good highway. Yeah, traffic is bad. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, this old trailer pulled good there, Wavy. I love it, man. 
Man, I love the way I can see the bike laying in the trailer. Yeah, you can like see it. You know, yes. Trailer like it's just floating. And, and it feels like it's floating too. Seriously. I mean, it feels real good. It, it don't, it doesn't hinder the ride. I mean, it's almost like I don't want to ride with, you know, without it, you know? Yeah, you probably get used to, used to it being behind you. Yeah, like a combo, man. God, it's nice out here today. I tell you what, that paint, man, dude, I mean, you can't match that paint no better than that. He did a good job, man, my uh, boy Chris, down at Horizon Trikes. Yeah. Oh, okay, my God. I mean. Oh, my God. Every time I look at it, man, I just said Chris did a good job on it. Listen, I've been, uh thinking about adding a tour pack to my L6D, and I, I got to send it to him. Oh, okay. A tour pack? Yeah. Yeah. Like a little slim tour pack to keep the slim look on it, the sport look to it. Oh, okay. I'm going to order a slim tour pack. Yeah. And I got to send it to him, because I don't think anybody else can match those Honda colors like that. Right. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, uh, hey, Chris is the man, I'm telling you. I went through two painters here in Memphis, and both of them got it wrong. Two different shops, two different years, and they both got it wrong. Took it to Chris. I mean, he hit a dead bullseye the first time out and did an excellent job on it. Yeah. Yes. Can, can is hard to paint. Yeah, that's what they said. Can is hard to paint. But Chris was like, man, that's I can do that in my sleep. Get that base coat wrong, everything else goes down to your back. Yeah, he told me, he, you know, the last time I, uh, you know, was uh, spoke with him, he said uh, uh, one of my viewers that watched my videos drove all the way from North Missouri, 15 hours one way, uh, just to get their trailer painted by him after watching my vid. And they made I mean, it. It's, it's worth it, you know, yeah. it's worth it. You it know. It's worth it. If I would have known uh, about him the first time, you know, that's where I would have taken it. But at the time I didn't know. So, you know, life is a learning experience. After seeing that, it is, seeing yours, it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. 100% worth it. Yeah, and speaking of Honda, what do you think about the new 2018 Goldwing coming out? What's your, you got any thoughts about it? Man, I, it's a nice looking bike, you know, I love it, but I'm not going to get it. You're not uh, going to get it? Nah, I just got my L6D seven months ago. It's still a, still a nice bike and I love it, love yeah. the look of it. So, yeah. You know, plus, I, you know, if I do get one, it'll be three years down the line. I let everybody else get the kinks and bugs worked out. Right. All the recalls. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Coming in, it's going to be a lot of in the shop time with all the recalls. I tell you what, out, the, out of all of the Goldwing riders I know, only about two guys personally that said they're going to get it. Everybody else said they're going to stick with their wing. Yeah, most definitely. Gonna yeah, know. I'm going to stick with mine because uh, I finally got it where I want it, Wavy. I got all the accessories where I want it. Uh, I got the trailer matching. I got the the, the trailer wiring kit, uh, the trailer hitch. I mean, just all of the accessories and time and energy that I put into it. I mean, that's priceless. You can't get that back. You can't get that back, man. You know. If you get a new wing, nothing can transfer over. You just you start from scratch. You start from scratch, and unless you're going unless you ride a bike and and uh, don't decorate it, leave it stock. That's a Harley. Yeah. Uh, then I guess it will be worth it, but for what I put into mine, uh, I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna ride this behemoth for a while. And I'm trying. I'm, I just want to pay mine off. I'm thinking about pay off is what I'm thinking. One less bill. A new wing is a new bill. Yeah, it's like starting over. It's not like starting over. It is starting yeah, over. It is starting over. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting over, man. So. Nah. Plus, I'd be a fool. I still got my, you know, my, my limited mileage warranty. Yeah. Had a extended warranty, so you know, five years from now, if my mirror gets loose, I can take it to Hunter and tell them to tighten it up. Yeah. What year did you say your was again? A sixteen? This is a fifteen. Fifteen. Fortieth anniversary. The fortieth yeah. anniversary. Okay. I bought it in March. It was a new fifteen. Okay. Fortieth anniversary. Yeah. Good deal. Yeah, that's all right, man. I'm like you. I still have, you know, I bought the extended warranty, so my warranty is not up until 2023. Ooh. 2023, and I got unlimited mileage on my warranty. I did, too. I got the unlimited mileage. Yeah, so I, I could be riding a long time. Yeah, and I only have 10,000 miles, so I'd be a fool to go get a, a new bike with it. I'm sitting on a new bike. Yeah, you got 10,000? Okay. Yeah, 10,000. I got that since March. 
Yeah, I'm looking at 23, almost on 23.5. And I bought mine new back in 16. So yeah, I'm a whole tight and I just enjoy looking at everybody else. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And let them work the bugs out because it may be some bugs. And, uh, you know, I think that if you uh, have a bike paid for, I think a new gold wing would be, uh, it wouldn't be a bad investment. If it would be like if I had, you know, if I had, you know, if I've had like maybe an older model and it was paid for, yeah, I would get the new one. Yeah. Or if you had an old gold wing, you know, but you kind of beat me to the beat me to it. But I was gonna say if you got an old gold wing, it wouldn't be a bad investment. Uh, but if you just bought a, a, a second generation within the last, you know, three to five years, <laughs> I don't know, man. I know a lot of a lot of motorcycle riders. You know they buy bikes and and leave them in the garage. You yep. know what's the point? And I, I see a lot of guys putting them up for the winter. You know I just that's, I like to ride when they get cold. Yeah. And uh, you know I was guilty of it myself. You know uh, I bought a bike and uh, it sat in the garage most of the time. I end up selling that thing, man. And. Uh, I said, I'm not going to do that again. I said, if I buy a bike again, I'm going to ride it. This is the first bike I've ever put uh, 10,000 miles on in the last five years. Yeah. I've been just going bike to bike, but, you know, I just couldn't find a good one. I remember I told you, that's when I ran across your videos on YouTube. Right. Never even thought about a gold wing, and I ran across your videos searching motorcycle videos. Okay. And and that was it. It was it. The rest was history. Right. Yeah. I kind of hate I didn't get the full gold wing now. Yeah. Well, I, at least you got something to look forward to. I mean, and, yeah. and see, that's the thing about it. If you never bought a gold wing, you don't kind of know what to expect. And uh, once you get it, it's like, you know what? I should have got uh, another model. You know, like when I, because I had the 2014 there, Wavy. And, uh, it was the level one and uh, I loved it, man. And uh, after a while I said, you know what? I should have bought the level three. I wanted the level three initially, but I didn't want to spend the extra money. And about, I got, I don't know, a year into it or so, or a little over a year, I, I went back and, and uh, rectified my mistake and just got the uh, level three. Yeah. So I'll be dang if I go and buy another one after just buying this one so soon. When I, you know, I might, when I hit 40, I get a, well, that'll be my, my 40th birthday gift is a full wing. Right. Probably. Like we, like uh, Teal always say, uh, I'm on, I'm on a wing getting training. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, on, I'm on, I'm on a training wing. I'm, I'm on, on a, a tra wing uh, training. Yeah. A wing and training, huh? Yeah. I think that highway would run you back to uh, Holly Springs. 
And Langbanger call it the party wing. Yeah, the party wing. <laughs> yeah, that's the Langbanger for you. The party wing. Out here on Highway 72. I just wanted to just stretch it out a little bit, man. It was just too nice of a day to, you know, because, you know, when that cold weather come in, you don't know how long it's going to hang around. Yeah, I plan on riding through it. You know? Yeah, I got the heated gear. And, and, and you know, I saw that, uh, and that's what uh, me and Dylan was talking about. Uh, you said you had a Sedici. Yeah, Sedici. I bought it from Cycle Gear. And a, and a lot of people have asked me about, about that, uh, about my heated gear, you know, what kind do I recommend? You know, and there's a lot of different brands out there, but I just say whatever you get, just be able to go and try it on. I wouldn't order it through the mail. I mean, I don't like ordering clothing through the mail. I like to try it on. Yeah, because everything run different. Right, right, right. And with Cycle Gear, at least I had somebody to talk to that showed me how to connect it. Uh, Sam over at Cycle Gear, uh, yeah. when I bought mine at the time, he, he uh, was telling me how to you know how to get it hooked up and everything so if you buy it online it may you know it may be kind of complicated depending on what brand you buy so do you have a glove too yeah i got the heated gloves i got the uh the heated foot insoles oh yeah the pants liner and the jacket oh yeah i wish they made a heated bar clava that would really be nice <laughs> 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 i haven't seen one of those yet no, i hadn't yeah. seen one either yeah that would be cool man to just put it on your head and that would be really cool. You're good to go. You can ride, you know, you can ride year round. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And like to me, I think it's easier to ride in the winter than it is on those miserable hot days. Right. You can warm yourself up, but you can't cool yourself off. I mean, if it's 110, right. it's 110. I don't care what you do. Right. It's, it's 110, but in the winter time, you can always warm yourself up. That's right. Yeah, that heated gear, man, it's a, it is a good investment there, Wavy good investment but i think i pretty much you know i was looking around my my arsenal man I, I pretty much got everything you know i i uh posted on my facebook group uh you know what do you want for christmas you know as far as a tangible gift i don't know if you saw that post yeah i saw and, that post because i put the the digital heated uh the heated gear yeah you did you put, right and i was just reading through some of those comments and everything that you know that somebody commented on of what they would like to have for the most part i got it 99 percent of all those comments and i was thinking man i'm so blessed just to have all those things that everybody's is wanting to add to their uh their collection you know some people said helmets heated gear uh cena free wire uh i think i read a couple 30ks which i don't have that but for the most part, everything that's in there that somebody wanted, I have it. But, you know, I didn't just get it all at one time. You know what I mean? Yeah, it takes time. It takes time. I've been getting it over years. As a matter of fact, some things I've had uh, before I even had my, my gold wing. So you don't, yeah. you don't just walk in and just throw your card on the table and, and, and buy the store. You just get a little bit here and there until you build it up where you want to get. Yeah, like basically with me, it's been like just from a learning experience every road trip you take i learned it's something else that i need right like i just got the saddle bag now because the last we went to the dragon right and i had stuff you know just falling around everywhere in the saddle bags and then once you get to the room you gotta and so i bought the saddle bag liner so you can pack it in the house walk it straight to the fight right 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 now i don't have that i know stephen called me one day and said man they got it on sale and i'm like yeah i probably not i probably wouldn't need it but it'll be good to have it it's a, it saved me a lot of time. I think uh, I got the uh, karaoke. I think they were like 79 bucks, I think, off eBay. You bought the three-piece set? That's a two-piece. No, uh, I don't have a trunk. That's right. That's right. Stuff. That's right. You don't have a trunk. No, I'm, I'm still in training. The uh, wing and training. Yeah, I, I forgot. My bad. My bad. The party, the party wing. The party wing, is, as Lane Banger call it. <laughs> the party wing. Yeah. I saw that set on sale. I'm thinking, man, should I get that? Uh, it's worth it, you know. You can pack, you know, pack up in the house and just walk straight out and drop them in your bag, right? Out of bag and close the door and gone. Yeah. Get to the room, just pick them up and walk in the room. You know, the thing wavy on my bike. Most of the things that's in my saddlebags are things that I would keep on the bike. Like, yeah, well, see, you got a, yeah, you got the trailer too. So like, 
like you know, like for example, my rain gear. I have cleaning products uh, in my saddlebags. I have uh, an air compressor, uh, some tools, uh, my helmet shield for nighttime. I I go to my clear shield at night. Yeah, that's about that. Yeah, so it's like the things that's in my saddlebag. Uh, I keep broke down. The things that's in my saddlebag is it's gonna stay on the bike. So a few things in the trunk that it, that wouldn't stay in my on the bike would be like you know an extra helmet or something, or my my bag that I carry around with me with my you know charger cables and stuff like that. But for the most part, yeah, you got a truck coming up on your left. You yeah, truck. yeah, I see him there. We're like a, a Davenport. Yep. Macy's. Yeah. Macy's. <laughs> 